Hey guys. Well, I'm here and I'm going to do a Mother's Day DIY. So, let's get started. And I've got a few of them that I'm, well, maybe two. I think two or three. Probably two. Okay, in my haul I showed you I got this frame from Michael's. It was a dollar. And I really liked the way that the heart was offset. And I am going to do this one shabby sheet because it'll go into my living room. So I'm going to, I, I was thinking about painting it with um, the buttercream, but I'm not so sure that I really even need to because I'm going to do a lot of lace, a lot of flowers, layering, um, so I really don't think I'm going to need it. And then I didn't know if I was going to put it on a candlestick. And if I do, I had a wooden one. And for the life of me, I don't know. I don't know where it's at. And as soon as I get done with this DIY, I'll find it. But what I'll do is if I do decide to use the candlestick, which is from Dollar Tree, these things come in so handy. Um, I will probably spray paint this a cream color. And since this, you can see this part because this isn't that thick. I will put something over this and I will just incorporate something to where you can't see any of this. I, I don't know yet. You'll see as I go on. So I don't know if I'm going to put it up like this and make it where it's higher up or just leave it down. I'm not sure about that part yet. Anyway, um, I will be back in a minute. I'm going to take this off and get my supplies that I want to use and we will get started. Okay, guys. What I think I'm going to do, uh, and I'll do this off camera, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray paint this a cream color to kind of match the laces so it can kind of stand up more. And I am going to use a picture of my uh, grandmother. She was my mother for all intents and purposes. I loved her dearly. This is a picture of me and her, and this was, I was three, so, so this is probably 57 or 58, and uh, she was the mother of five, put herself through school, and that was back in the day that <laughs> it, you just didn't do it that much, and she became an RN. And she worked until she was 74 years old in her later years in a convalescent hospital taking care of people sometimes younger than her. So she is very important to me. So I'm going to make this frame and put that picture in it. What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go and have it enlarged because it's not going to fit and I don't want to ruin this original. Well, it's years and years old and I have it in a very old oval frame right now. But I'll have this enlarged so it'll fit better in here. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. But in the meantime, I want to get the frame itself done. And I don't think I am going to paint it. I'm just going to leave it raw in the back. Because it's, it's basically really going to match the laces and all. So I'm waiting for my glue gun to heat up. And I think I'll get some Mod Podge. Cut a few pieces to kind of... So I'm not cutting on camera. It just takes up your time and it's a waste of film. So I'll be back as soon as I get some pieces cut. Okay guys, I hope you can see better. I turned on a different light. It's only one in the afternoon, but I'm seeing a lot of shadow. I'm hoping that it won't be so much when it... I don't know. I don't know. So I'm putting Mod Podge all over this frame. Because I want to layer this up. This is going to be a shabby chic frame. And it's really hot here today. How is the weather around where everyone else is? Oh, it's probably close to 90 here. I hate summer. I used to like it when I was a kid. Can't stand it now. I'd give anything for cold weather or 70 all the time. <laughs> It'd be fine with me. Okay. So I cut out the part of the heart and I laid this lace down and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start layering uh, I'm going to put some Mod Podge over it too. 
Um, I'm going to start layering different trims and I will hot glue that but I just wanted to get this main piece down with Mod Podge and I'm going to let that dry it's not going to take long at all because it's so hot and then as soon as this is dry because I don't want to try to hot glue while this is drying but as soon as I see that this is completely dry I'll be back and it's not going to take any time at all now that I have everything cut and then I'll start embellishing so I'll be back in just a couple minutes okay guys I'm back and this is dried let me see if you can see yeah this is dried and I have some trinkets from Bow Bunny that I'm going to use and I have laces cut up and I'm just going to kind of wing it as I go, I think. Now that I have things cut, now I'll decide where I'm going to place them. So here we go. <sighs> okay, so what's everybody doing today? And what's the weather like around you? I don't know why I just do not like this heat anymore. I, I really don't. Whenever I watch the news, you know, and watch the weather, and they say it's going to be another hot one, I'm thinking, oh, crud. Really? <laughs> yeah, we have a little bit of rain. Mm. So, let's see. I'm just going to be layering and layering. Actually, well, too, too late now. Well, that's stupid. Now you're not even going to be able to see that. We really are winging it here, aren't we? We're winging it so much that... Okay, so I won't put that piece on because I want to be able to see that. really want kind of a I guess what I'm kind of going for is I'm trying to move this to see if a almost like a crazy quilt look you know just piece together different pieces trying to do also is I want to try to incorporate um, the white lace or the off-white with the more cream so I can do both so I just like that look for certain things thing is once you get that uh, hot glue on there you're not gonna get it off unless you rip the whole thing so whenever I decide to put something down that's where it's gonna have to stay as we just saw okay how do I want to do this it's hard do I want the yeah. okay so I gotta get a piece that's gonna be big enough which that isn't I have a couple other things too that I want to show you that I want to make for Mother's Day. Well, it doesn't have to be just for Mother's Day. I mean, it could be for a birthday or whatever, I guess. All of these trims, by the way, I got at Hobby Lobby, except for this. And this I've had forever and I do not remember where I got it. Well, 
I thought for sure I had See, I didn't even paint that, and look how it just blends that natural wood. So that's why I didn't bother. I think I might just put different kinds of ribbon instead of. Do I have any more? Looking down at my stuff over here because I need a bigger piece. Then I don't know if I want the, see how the, I have this here where the pearls are going inside or if I should have them on the outside. Yeah, I think the outside. I'm going to turn on another light, you guys. Hold on. I want to see if that other light, it, it just looks too shadowy to me. And I'm thinking, how the heck, I mean... I'm trying to film during the day so it's better light, but it just... Okay, now I've got every light that I possibly can get on. So let's see if this helps. If it doesn't help, we're in trouble. Man, it looks a little bit better, I hope. Okay, so let's get this going. I think I'm going to like it better with the pearls out. It just seems to kind of work better that way. Okay. Cannot believe Mother's Day is right around the corner. You guys, before you know it, and I know you guys are going to say thank you, I don't want to hear it, but I've got to say it. Christmas is right around the corner, you guys. Seriously. And for people that make things, you know, if you're one to make things for family members or just, you know, crafts for your home or whatever. It's almost like you need to start pretty soon. As crazy as that sounds. And it's funny, doing YouTube and doing different DIYs, you know, it's, it's like the months even come faster because, you know, you have to be thinking. I mean, right now I'm doing Mother's Day, but I'm thinking Fourth of July. It's like you have to be a step ahead constantly so you can get these out so people, if they would like to try to, you know, make something that you've done, they have time to get the stuff and to do it before the actual holiday. These dollar frames are really worth it, you know? They really are. And this really doesn't take long. Once you know what you're going to put down on it and you have the stuff cut out, it goes really fast. Actually, you could use this for a wedding. You really could. And I don't remember if I told you or not, I think I am going to put it on the pedestal. So that's why I'm not worried about this, you know, hanging down on a candlestick, I mean. And I'm going to spray paint it cream. down and put a border on it. Alright, I'm just going to keep working. 
probably going to get a little quiet here. When I start concentrating, I get quiet. So that's when I always end up putting music on while you guys are watching this. Different uh, videos. It would be very boring if it was just silence. so far. Alright, I'm going to keep on working. Just going to put some up there and then put some embellishment and flowers and I'll be done. I always try to do things that are kind of quick so it doesn't take real long.
Okay, now I'm done with pretty much the lace that I'm going to put on here. But now I'm going to go ahead and start embellishing with some metals and uh, flowers. And again, I think I'm going to leave it pretty neutral. I'm not going to put a color to it since it's a black and white picture. I, I do crafts the same way I do, uh, well, these are as good as nothing. Can I just tell you that? Okay, forget it. I got these at the Dollar Tree. They're worth a dollar. Not even worth a dollar. Okay. These flowers, I can't remember. I think I got these at a little scrapbook uh, place. It's called Pages and Time by My House. I like this flower, actually, a lot. It's cool, cool looking. Like I said, I'm really starting to get into the farmhouse, but I still really like Shabby Chic. I really do. And I'll take pictures at the end like I always do. Okay, if this is going to be standing up, i got to see. When you're doing stuff where it's going to stand up, it's different when it's laying down or if it's just like this, you know, on an easel. Or if it's up here so I always try to put it where I think it's gonna be I'm gonna kind of nestle it up into the flower so it's kind of sticking up instead of laying down flat I might put a flower behind it to keep it See, there it's too far up. That's what I mean. you got to kind of decide how you're going to do it. That'll look good once it's uh, spray painted cream. That'll look good. I swore I had that doggone uh, wood one, which would have been perfect. I just would have left it the, you know, the plain wood color. But like I said, I'll find it when I don't need it. And since my grandmother had my heart, and here's your heart, she had the key to my heart, so I'm going to put a few keys around. I could dangle it from a string, or how about... some frames um, for Christmas for my kids last year. I think it was last year, the year before. No, it was the year before. 
and um, go over to you'll see them uh, there's a picture of them and they're really uh, really chunky wood and I put some burlap and then I stenciled and put pictures up of each family each one that I made it for of their you know own little family that turned out really cute this key made me think of it because I put different little trinkets on each frame that kind of represented them in their pictures like my one son and his fiance they like to travel so I put a trinket of a metal plane old-fashioned plane and the world a metal piece of the world things like that that would be personal to them yeah go check it out you might like it and give you ideas get this leaf so that leaf is going all on top. Okay, let's see how that looks so far. You're not going to be able to see it until I'm done and then I'll, because it's too, let me see. trying to get a happy medium here so you can see both but see when I have it like this where that kind of dangles and the lace can be you know off from the frame because it's not going to matter it's going to be here okay so I'm going to finish up and then I'll come back when I'm done with the rest of I'm almost done now I'm just going to add a couple more things so I'll be back okay I have a dilemma now I went out and I spray painted this like I told you I was going to do. But then I remembered this when I spray painted my apothecary jars. Remember, and then I did the um, candlesticks to hold the silver trays. My dilemma is it looks good with this dark one because of the dark in the um, metals. But then it looks good with this. And now I don't know which to do. I really don't know which to do. I'll probably end up going with this one only because I don't have anything else to use with this at the moment. And it wouldn't be that hard to take off if I wanted to switch it because I'm just uh, hot gluing it. So what I'll do is I will get this glued on and then tomorrow um, I have a doctor's appointment and after the doctor I'm going to go ahead and get that picture made bigger to fit that heart you know completely and uh, then I'll be able to show you the finished product but for now well I don't even have to show you the glued part I'll just do that tomorrow when I show you with the picture in it so for now that's that and then I'll be back with another DIY shortly Okay, guys, here I'm done. I'm showing you now. Um, I got the picture. I went and had it enlarged, and I think it turned out so pretty. And I added a few more flowers. I can't remember if I showed you that before or not. I'm not sure now. I'd have to look back on the video. But there's my grandmother. God bless her. Happy Mother's Day, Grandma. She was something else. Such a sweet woman. Everybody loved her. Don't you love the expression on my face? I wonder what I was thinking right then. <laughs> anyway, um, here it is. I hope you guys like it. I hope that um, I've given you time to where maybe you can try it. And uh, yeah, I think it turned out really pretty. Nice way to honor my grandmother. So I hope everyone has a wonderful Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, the grandmothers, the aunts, um, stepmoms that take care of these children, um, just anyone that has an impact on a child's life. I wish you a very, very happy Mother's Day. And 
and I will be talking to you very, very shortly. Bye, guys.